Have you ever wondered if you could survive on Mars? A question that has intrigued humankind for centuries. Mars, the red planet, our celestial neighbor and the next frontier for human exploration. Its crimson hue has drawn our curiosity, its mysteries have sparked our imagination, and its potential for habitation has become a focal point for scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Mars is not just another planet, it's a world of stark contrasts with towering volcanoes, deep canyons, and perhaps hidden sources of water. But the allure of Mars goes beyond its geological wonders. It represents an opportunity, a challenge, and a test of human ingenuity. The question is no longer can we reach Mars, but how will the first humans survive on Mars? Our journey to the Red Planet is not just about stepping foot on another world, it's about the survival, adaptation, and the potential to call Mars our second home. So let's delve into the challenges of living on a planet that wasn't designed for human life. Mars isn't exactly a welcoming place for humans. Indeed, the Red Planet presents a host of challenges that make it a formidable destination for mankind. Imagine a world where average temperatures hover around negative 80 degrees Fahrenheit. That's Mars for you. The extreme cold is a stark contrast to Earth's mild climate, and it's just one of the countless obstacles we face. The thin Martian atmosphere composed mostly of carbon dioxide fails to retain heat, causing temperatures to plummet drastically during the night. Survival in such frigid conditions would require innovative solutions and technologies. But the cold is just the tip of the iceberg. Mars's atmosphere, or rather the lack thereof, presents another hurdle. The air on Mars is so thin that it's equivalent to an altitude three times the height of Mount Everest on Earth, not to mention it's mostly carbon dioxide with only trace amounts of oxygen. Breathing in such an environment? Impossible without life support. And let's not forget about radiation. Mars's atmosphere is incapable of providing the same level of protection from deadly cosmic rays and solar radiation as Earth's. Prolonged exposure could lead to serious health problems including cancer and acute radiation sickness. Then there's the issue of the long journey from Earth. It takes about six to nine months to travel to Mars with current technology. That's a long time to spend in the confined space of a spacecraft, facing potential risks such as muscle atrophy and psychological stress. So with all these hurdles, how can we possibly survive on Mars? Humans are exceptional problem solvers and Mars is just another problem to solve. Indeed, the challenges of the Red Planet, as daunting as they may seem, are not insurmountable. We'll start with the first two, extreme temperatures and the lack of breathable air. At first glance, Mars appears inhospitable, its temperatures swing wildly, from a balmy 20 degrees Celsius at the equator during the day, to a bone-chilling negative 75 degrees at night. To survive this, we'll need habitats that are not only insulated but also adaptable to these drastic fluctuations. Imagine habitats equipped with smart materials, materials that react to changes in temperature, stiffening or softening as needed. Picture climate-controlled environments that stay at a steady, comfortable temperature, regardless of what's happening outside. These habitats could utilize Mars's abundant iron oxide, the very thing that gives it its red color, to create building materials. We could essentially be living in Martian-made homes. Next let's tackle the lack of breathable air. Mars's thin atmosphere, which is mostly carbon dioxide, is far from ideal for human survival. But what if we could turn that carbon dioxide into oxygen much like plants do here on Earth? Enter MOXIE or Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment, a technology currently being tested on NASA's Perseverance rover. MOXIE works by ingesting the Martian atmosphere, then using electricity to split carbon dioxide molecules into oxygen and carbon monoxide. The oxygen is stored and the rest is released back into the atmosphere. If upscaled, this technology could provide astronauts with the oxygen they need to breathe and even fuel for the journey home. These solutions, as innovative as they are, represent only the start of our journey to making Mars habitable. They show that with ingenuity and determination, we can overcome the obstacles that stand in our way. But these solutions are just the beginning. What about radiation and the long journey? Well, that's a story for another time. Radiation and long distance travel, two more challenges to conquer. These are not simple hurdles, but significant ones that must be addressed if we are to make Mars our new frontier. Radiation in space is a harsh reality. Unlike Earth, Mars lacks a protective magnetic field and dense atmosphere, leaving its surface exposed to high levels of cosmic and solar radiation. These can be harmful, even lethal, to humans, but we are not without possible solutions. Scientists and engineers are exploring innovative radiation shielding technologies. 
One promising avenue is the use of high-performance materials that can absorb or deflect harmful radiation. These materials could be incorporated into the design of spacecraft and Martian habitats, providing a protective barrier for the pioneers of the Red Planet. Long-distance travel is another obstacle we must overcome. A trip to Mars with current technology could take anywhere from six to nine months, a duration that poses both physical and psychological challenges for astronauts. But what if we could shorten that journey, or make it more bearable? One idea that sounds straight out of science fiction is the concept of hibernation pods. Inspired by the natural world, these pods could put astronauts into a state of suspended animation, slowing down their metabolism and reducing their need for food, water and oxygen. This could not only make the long journey more manageable but also significantly reduce the resources needed for the mission. Another solution lies in developing faster spacecraft. Advancements in propulsion technology such as nuclear or ion propulsion could potentially cut the travel time to Mars in half. This would not only shorten the exposure to space radiation but also alleviate the psychological toll of long-duration space travel. Innovation, determination, and a bit of audacity. These are the tools with which we are tackling these challenges. With every new technology and strategy, we're not just getting closer to stepping foot on Mars, but we're also expanding our understanding of what is possible. With these solutions it seems we're getting closer to making Mars our second home. So we've tackled the problems, what's next for Mars colonization? In the grand scheme of time, our first steps on Mars may seem just around the corner. The future of Mars colonization is a horizon filled with challenges, but it's also teeming with opportunities and potential triumphs. Imagine a future where the red planet is no longer just a distant world, but a place where humans call home. This is not a fantasy anymore. It's a vision that space agencies and private companies around the globe are working tirelessly to turn into a reality. The next decade may witness a series of missions, each one more ambitious than the last. These missions are designed to lay the groundwork for a sustainable human presence on Mars. We're not just talking about temporary visits, we're talking about a permanent settlement, a place where people live, work and thrive. But what does this mean for us as a species? Mars colonization presents us with the opportunity to become a multi-planetary species. This could be our insurance policy against potential Earth-bound catastrophes, but it's not just about survival, it's also about growth, about pushing the boundaries of human potential and knowledge. The impact on humanity could be profound. Imagine the technological advancements that would be required for us to survive and thrive on Mars. These could lead to breakthroughs in fields like energy, medicine, and construction here on Earth. Mars colonization could also reshape our understanding of life in the universe. If we find signs of past or present life on Mars, it would challenge our perception of our place in the cosmos. And let's not forget the cultural impact. A human settlement on Mars could rekindle our sense of wonder and exploration, inspiring generations to pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. There are still many unknowns and challenges to overcome, but the journey has begun, and there's no turning back. As we stand on the cusp of becoming a multi-planetary species, the future indeed looks exciting. So will you pack your bags for Mars? A question that might not be as far-fetched as we once thought. We've journeyed together through the harsh realities of the Red Planet, its inhospitable environment, and the immense challenges that lie in our path. But we've also explored the ingenious solutions humanity is developing, from overcoming the scarcity of water and food to the threat of cosmic radiation. We've caught a glimpse of a future where Mars is not just a distant red speck in our night sky, but a second home for our species, a place where our survival instinct and innovative spirit transform adversity into opportunity. While we're not ready to move to Mars just yet, we're certainly on our way. The journey will be tough, the challenge is daunting, but the human spirit is nothing if not resilient. Stay tuned for more exciting insights into our future among the stars.